Inquisition took the Dragon Age series, grew some balls, and slapped on glitter. While there are some minutely disconcerting points, Dragon Age Inquisition is the actualization of everything I had expected from Origins to 2. An expansive world, dynamic ecosystem, reactive NPCs and companions that don't depend on your player's character's coddling. The choices you make actually have weight. You feel how much of an ass you really are. Then, you feel like you... helped. Everything exists with purpose and is meticulously placed. Some things aren't technically sound, and by technically I literally mean technical, but it's a game that throws everything into the fire to the fans knowing that it can come out in one piece. I don't believe that I can give assessment of this game justice without finishing its story, but from what I have played so far, its narrative preys enough on a player's emotions and expectations to be worth a fair trial. Sorry, but if you're expecting some generalized overview of what Dragon Age Inquisition really is, skimming through the superficial layer talking about dwarves and elves and lyrium and shit, you came to the wrong place. As the hero of Ferelden, Sarah Hawk, and for six hours at an event held by Bioware, the Herald of Andraste, expect that here on this channel, you will find rantings, ravings, and reveals from someone truly aware of the world of Thetis. My name is Ash. Welcome to the Inquisition. Fun fact, it took me three script rewrites and a ton of heavily caffeinated tea to figure out what I wanted to say here. Why I did come up with that paragraph of wordiness at the beginning? When it comes down to it, it's a narrative journey to experience and I'm sure many of you watching this are expecting me to dissect the hell out of Inquisition. And if you thought so, well... You're certainly on the right track. Too many elements exist as a part of Inquisition. A 30 minute video going into the forms and formalities of the Companions, the Fade, and the Inquisition is just too messy for me to properly ascertain. So instead of boring you all, I'm making a list. The videos on screen are just some of the topics I will be analyzing for Inquisition. Today and the... Today's upload is Thursday? So I'll be making more of these leading up to Inquisition's release. We're not stopping at one overbearing impression. We're diving deep into the heart of the Inquisition. Get cozy and click ahead. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see in a future analysis vid, speak up in the comments and say it proud. For I am your humble herald. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Let's talk combat and movement. Fast and slightly chaotic. If you're worried about the particle effects being too much, go back to last gen. I'm kind of kidding, but no, seriously, because yes, it's quite bright and shiny. But with tactical cam and that thing that you use to make you zoom out, it's pretty slick. Get used to the controls as well. You'll need it. Misclicking is really easy, and whenever you're used to Origins and 2's control scheme, well, Control is pause, and spacebar is jump. I changed the key bindings real fast, by the way. Enemies respawn in reaction to the ecosystem, leave a temple or two, and they'll come back like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Think on your toes and act like your brain. Or think on your toes and act with your brain. Obviously, I'm not. There are tons of damage mitigating abilities across all three classes to roll with and never really need a health potion. Unless, of course, if you're on Nightmare. You might feel a little bit draggish if you play a lot of MMOs, as changing directions has this weird pause, drag, step walking animation, but it works. And just in case it hasn't been shoved down your throat by every gaming press website yet, you can jump! You can also slide down cliffs if they're the right uh, steepness. Use them often. It's really helpful when you don't want to waste time going down a mountain. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Here you're trying to bring order back. It's high time someone did. Never thought it'd be a Hallerider from the Wildlands, though. Graphics time. PS4, 1080p, 30 frames. Xbox One, 900p, 30 frames. PC allows 4K, but let's be honest that most rigs out there can't even support Inquisition at the frame capacity it requires for 4K, so let's just leave it to your discretion. Some scenes where banners exist are hilariously pixelated, but conversely, 
blood spatter, and armor shine is grotesquely detailed. I don't even know if I said that word right. So if you want to keep the shiny, disable blood spatter in the options. In Last Shed consoles, don't expect as many uh, free-roaming NPCs in towns and villages. You're gaining the same amount of content, but it's not the same feel of swarming or legions tugging at the dresses and laughing in a <laughs> kind of fashion. What was that? We don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. Camera, camera, camera. Oh, I wish there was fly cam. Unlike Origins and 2, there are three specific interaction scenes. One, the NPC just talks to you briefly and you see subtitles at the top. The second, and most common, is where the camera pans right and sets a frame with both the Inquisitor and the NPC. But sadly, if you're in front of a tree, a second NPC is involved, or you clicked at a MySpace angle, you won't be able to see it properly. And you can't even reinitiate some conversations again, as they'll be lost the moment you say, THAT'S ALL! You guessed it right, it's pretty annoying. And I totally missed out on a Red Larium conversation with Varric. I was so mad. And also, if you wanted to stare at Colin's ass, too bad. Well, unless if you're watching from the third type of interaction scene, which is just basically the cutscene. Close-ups, action, details to movement and animations, nothing new here, but it's there. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. Story. Dragon Age Inquisition is a heavily narrative-based game. If you think it's purely about hack and slashing and throwing fireballs, I'm sorry, but you are wrong. So very wrong. Mages, Templars, Demons, Grey Wardens, Darkspawn, Kings, Queens, Empresses, Chevaliers, Fancy Parties, and Stinky Cheeses, and heavily chest-haired dwarves like Varric. I won't spoil it for you, but this game references almost every book. The Masked Empire with the Orlesian Civil War, Asunder with Cole and the Mage Templar Conflict, The Stolen Throne for Fiona. Fiona, yes. Grand Enchanter Fiona, mother of Alistair, a hero of the Fifth Blight. Possible king, or Grey Warden, or drunk. The context of all happenings in Thetis are quite intertwined. In standard practice, of course, many players are skeptical of how much choice matters in the Inquisition. Perhaps you are also part of this league of extraordinarily critical gamers. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. But let me tell you this. Yes, your decisions carry over. Not every decision is going to have some profound butterfly effects, like if you gave gold to a kid, he'll become the hack-slinging slasher of Denarim. But it's noted. If not an Inquisition, in Dragon Age 4. But within the small amount of time that I got to play Inquisition, if you want to see how much your decisions carried over, Talk with the NPCs of Haven. Talk with your companions. With Varric. Colin. Liliana. You will see the reverberations of your actions as the Warden and Hawk. And judging by how far I got into the plot, the consequences of those actions, or at the very least, the compounding nature of building on your compassionate and or asinine decision making. Blankets, warm clothes, all of it. These poor sods lost everything when the mages and the Templars went crazy. If we were in a village, I could just pinch a blanket off a clothesline and be fine. Out here, I'm sure the apostates have plenty of supplies, just haven't been able to find them. Overall, that's my six hours in a nutshell, and yeah, kind of bordered along general. Which is why I ask you again to join me for the next parts of my analysis into the game. Dragon Age Inquisition comes out November 18th in the US, 20th in the EU, and 21st in the UK. You can grab it on EA Access November 13th globally as a six-hour trial for Xbox One, Maker damn it, which will transfer into a full game if you decide to buy. <laughs> Thank you, Bioware, for letting me share these moments. And to the viewers out there, join me in the chaos. Join me in the mayhem. I can't do a Freddie Prince Jr. impression, but let's just pretend, right? <laughs> Take care, everyone. My name is Ash, Fenharel, and Ansel.